All right, today we're gonna do a painting in a style I call Dazzling Drips. All right, the question of the day is, who inspired Jackson Pollock? All right, let's run through the colors. Primary yellow, cadmium yellow pigment, titanium white, Mars black, ultramarine blue, phthalo green, quin blue. All right, today we're gonna paint a painting called Drazzling Drip Style. We just got done our first layer. We got this nice uh, phthalo green going to the really intense yellow with blended in with a gesso. So it has a really a lot of nice streaks here. We got kind of three colors. What we're going to do now is add in a really um, deep blue, uh, quin blue with the phthalo green and kind of tone this down a little bit and add some more gesso. We just added in the kind of the dark blue layer, kind of let it drip through here with the gesso. I use a lot of water to kind of get that really blurry look so you don't see that really finely defined uh, drip pattern. It's kind of very unique, kind of got a wash there. So that happens with the gesso. Got the dark on the top. It's getting a little bit dark, so I want to bring back the middle of a really bright um, yellow to make that pull that forward and darken the edges so you got that contrast from the middle to the ends. <music> So the person that inspired Jackson Pollock was Janet Sobel, and she was the very first painter to use kind of all over drip painting. Uh, there had been kind of experiments in drip, but not primarily as the way to paint. And she was one of the first abstract expressionists to use kind of the drip painting. And ironically, you know, she's included, I think in a 45, 46 show at um, Peggy Guggenheim's gallery. But ironically, because back in the day, women painters weren't as valid as much. And even today you see that um, skew within collector base that they only, they collect more the male artists than the female artists. And I think that's being corrected over time, but there's definitely a little bit to that where, um, you know, women are seen as kind of doing the arts and crafts kind of thing, realism, cute houses and stuff, which, you know, some women do that, but there's also guys that paint cute houses and puppy dogs and <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> It's a kind of silly thing, but yeah, she inspired the movement for Jackson Pollock, but interestingly enough, as time moved on, people forgot about her imp impact on Jackson Pollock, and he became kind of seen as the primary creator of drip painting, but actually she was, so it's kind of ironic. Maybe her style wasn't as impactful. I don't know, I haven't really studied her work. I've seen Jackson Pollock, obviously, but yeah, it was kind of ironic that a woman inspired it, but then, all the credit was given to Jackson Pollock, who's kind of the number two in the creation. Maybe hers wasn't as good. You know, that happens. There's sometimes artists that come up with a style and someone's better, like Picasso Brock, you could say they're basically on par. Um, but I think Brock invented it and then Picasso kind of snapped in that movement right away. So you have kind of that similar thing where Picasso's better known for cubism, maybe than Brock, although Brock is probably only known for cubism. So, but anyway. That's straying far from the topic. <laughs> and that's the question of the day. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, we just finished the painting. Let's take a closer look. So we have this really dark layer on the top, uh, kind of a greenish black. And then it fades into the, kind of this white overhaze over the original yellow. And at the bottom, we got a similar effect. So yeah, I really liked how this one turned out. It has a really nice texture underneath with the drips. 
but I haven't laid um, another layer of drips. I was thinking maybe make the edges a little darker, but I think this reads fine. Um, you could play with that a little more um, to make that a little more sharper definition, but I think it's, you know, it's good enough. You don't want to over kind of play with it. Then you kind of have to bring the drips in if you over coat it too much. So I think this is pretty good as is. Um, hopefully you guys like it. Give me a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, you can subscribe below. And if you want to see the full version, check out my Patreon account. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Next painting group. Next painting video. <laughs>